Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. This one I wanted to do about a month ago, um, but clearly I just completely forgot to get around, getting around to it. I usually keep a note in my phone on videos, I, I you know, sp ideas that spring into my head that I need to do and want to do and, and stuff like that, but uh, this one just completely missed, missed the notes section. So what I'm doing here today is going over my top seven Black Series figures of 2021 so far. So basically in the first half. Um, so any that I have received in the last month, I'm not going to include. And I don't think I did receive any in, in July, so it works out okay. Um, so you're probably asking why top seven? Why not five? Why not ten? Um, this is my video. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to pick a number. I picked a number. I picked seven. I picked seven figures. And uh, that's what we're rolling with. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first one, uh, coming in at number seven, is probably going to, you know, trigger a few people. Uh, I hope not, but <laughs> it is the way of the world. Talking about Jar Jar Binks. Uh, deluxe figure. He was he popped out around about January. Um, and, yeah, just, just a really fantastic figure. It's a great addition to the line. Um, you know, I probably would have... Preferred maybe a different head sculpt, um, you know, a, a, maybe a swap out head sculpt, uh, just giving him his goofy sort of grin. I think that would have worked really well. But this sort of got this stoic, you know, just a sort of blank expression, which, you know, it works. It looks good. It's a nice sculpt. The paintwork is fantastic on this figure. So, um, you know, I'm sure there's still some out there on the pegs. Um, no, they went into deep discount in some places in the US. Um, but yeah, definitely not one to sleep on, in my opinion. Um, again, this video is my opinion. I'm not actually telling you what the best figures are for the year so far. So um, I'm going to kick off with Jar Jar. Next, we're going to go into number six. And I'm going with Darth Maul from the... What was it? The, the book? The publishing sort of figures there were four figures that came out this was one of them um and yeah this is just a fantastic addition really well done i know it reuses a fair few parts uh from the waist down anyway um but yeah really cool addition the nice sort of shiny effect on the lightsaber was a nice upgrade the head sculpt is new so that was that was great too um, and yeah, I'm sure this is just like a Marvel Legends body, but that's okay. It works. Um, yeah, just another fantastic addition. And uh, yeah, one of my favorites of the year so far. So next up, we're going with the other Deluxe. And we're going to look at Boba Fett. And I'm going to bring the angle up here because I have used the stand that came with the Black Widow um, figure like last year, mid to late last year, it might have been a year ago. Who knows? Like it was, it was a while ago. Now it was when the movie was supposed to come out. Um, but yeah, it came with this awesome stand, which you know makes sense that he's displayed on it because uh, you know he's got the jetpack, he's got the accessories. Uh, yeah, this was just an absolutely outstanding release. Um, in fact, he's got the like the jetpacks, um, thrusters, flamethrower. You know, a lot of people had the had the problem with the helmet sort of being misshaped in the packaging, but that was an easy fix, and you know, word very quickly got around that it was an easy fix. So, I think most people have probably repaired that. Um, and it was simply just misshapen. Um, I think most reviewers out there would have made mention of how to do it. So, I certainly did, um, and yeah, a lot of other reviews I watched on this figure absolutely did as well. So. Yeah, fifth spot goes to Boba Fett, Return of the Jedi version. So let's get him up there. So now I'm going with bringing the camera down again. So coming in at number four is a very recent one. It is General Kenobi from the Clone Wars. Um, you know, this one and Anakin are both fantastic figures. There's just something about this one that I, I love. I love both of them. Um, and I couldn't split them. I couldn't split them up. But uh, yeah, they had to fit. Had to fit 
this one in somewhere um, and I didn't want to put both of them in the in the tops top seven so I decided I went with Obi-Wan I think he is probably just that little bit better out of the two in terms of the head sculpt likeness is absolutely spot on um, and I just absolutely adore the outfit uh, the Clone Wars armor you know being a big Clone Wars fan it's it makes sense that uh you know this one does come in come pretty high in the list <clears throat> and I dare say he'll probably make top 10 of the year for me anyway so we'll see what else comes out and how I feel about other figures in the line I should have another one coming tomorrow so it's exciting um, yeah fantastic figure General Kenobi coming in number three we have Crosshair now I only have two members of the Bad Batch this far um, I know Wrecker has just started hitting in the US. Um, he is on the way to me now. Um, he's in the post, in the mail. So looking forward to receiving him this week. And uh, yeah, I know some people in the US have been able to get Echo um, and the wave that he's from. But you know, for me, I think Crosshair definitely takes the cake. Um, you know, the head sculpt is just fantastic. You know, great posability. The rifle's fantastic. Just really good likeness. You know, in terms of bringing that animated style to life, you know, it's just absolutely fantastic. The only thing missing is a toothpick. <laughs> um, but, you know, you could probably saw something out there that's, that's good. But, um, yeah, the helmet sculpt is fantastic. It sits on really nicely. Range finder, all the good stuff. And I, uh, you know, I've got him in this sort of rested sniper position. You know, he's waiting, sort of waiting, waiting to get the uh, call to go and make his shot. So I'm gonna put him at the front there. So on to the last two. Looking at number two from the Mandalorian, we have Bo-Katan. Uh, this this figure is just incredible. Seriously, one of the best. Um, yeah, just a fantastic figure. The, the head sculpt underneath is fantastic. I've seen a lot of people do some amazing repaints where they've, you know, put a little bit of wash through the hair, um, like it, make it look a little bit darker, because um, it is quite a bright orange, and they've sort of redone the sort of leather straps on her belts and stuff like that. I'm not too fussy about that kind of thing, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think she looks great the way she is. I'm looking forward to uh, Cosca Reeves. Um, she should be out this month or next for us here down here in Australia. Um, but yeah, this one is just, she's a kick-ass figure and it's just Mandalorian armor. It's badass. It's, it's the Night Owl helmet. It looks great. I love the jet pack. All of it. All of this figure is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit more weathering on the suit could, wouldn't go astray, but, um, you know, in terms of the fabric sort of jumpsuit that she has underneath, but you know, there's some there's some scuffing and, and different paintwork on the armor itself, so it's it's brilliant. I really love that figure. So coming in at number one, I'm sure you probably guess it because this one is just freaking amazing. Asajj Ventress, and this figure is just the creme de la creme of 2021 so far. It is it is incredible. I love this figure so much. Um, and the fact that we've just gotten a couple more Clone Wars figures, you know, I, I just love that Hasbro is is giving some love to the Clone Wars. Um, again, you know, it's been far too long, uh, far too many years have passed where they've sort of just ignored Clone Wars. And I think, I think they've woken up to the fact that Clone Wars is pretty damn popular at the moment. And uh, I think, you know, I've said it so many times on my live stream that Clone Wars has basically developed its own fan base separate to Star Wars as a whole. Um, I think Mandalorian's on its well on its way to doing the same thing, and that is having an individual fan base um, that you know stems from Star Wars, and, and it's something that will pull people into the bigger the bigger world of Star Wars as well. Um, but yeah, there, there's definitely Clone Wars only fans out there, and uh, you know I, I get it. Clone Wars has been an amazing part of history. Um, you know, it kept my fandom at a, at a, alive at a time where it was waning, uh, sort of in you know from sort of 2008 through to you know 2012. 
Um, you know, you know, there was four or five years there where it could have waned, uh, could have absolutely, you know, sort of fell off the radar a little bit. But uh, Clone Wars definitely kept it alive for me, um, and so I always have a, a strong spot in my heart for for the Clone Wars. And Ventress, this figure's just just worked out absolutely mar marvelously. Uh, she is fantastic. I don't can't recommend her enough. So that is my top seven, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, check out the links down below. I have a Redbubble store. I have a PO box. You can send mail, a letter. Send a nice letter. That's always appreciated. I do keep all of them. So, um, and yeah, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and all that, all that good stuff too. Like I said, links are down in the description. So, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what your top seven are. Or, you know, which is your favorite out of this lot. Etc. Etc. Thank you very much for watching. Till my next video, may the force be with you always.